What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, I do want to talk about a lot of things today in the game because we do have, like, a tiny market inflation video. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. That'd be greatly appreciated. Let's hit 100 likes on the video because we have some, we have really, really good stuff to talk about. Um, pretty much, a lot of people made a lot of MT with this method. I don't know how, but it worked out. We're going to talk about some of the cards that did rise, some of the cards you should sell to make a lot of MT, because I know you guys are here for MT. I do post a lot of videos on MT, so drop the like, drop the sub. If you want to buy MT, hit me up on Twitter. And uh, yeah, man, um, today, guys, we're going to talk about a couple things in this set. Um, a lot of MT should be made in this set, and I'm going to tell you how in this video. So also selling these cards i just wanted to put that out there so my mt should be up pretty high I'm selling Giannis, bobo weber and jr smith <clears throat> i am keeping my prime cards though right now and i'm going to tell you why i'm keeping my prime cards and all that good stuff so this is my squad right now it's not the best man it's mostly free grinding cards pretty solid team though for how much mt i'm about to have so uh yeah guys let's talk about this okay a couple things i want to talk about let's start off so in the out of position twos, man, um, this is how we start off. This Giannis rose so much MT, okay? I don't even know how. I don't know if he was price fixed. But if you guys were watching my video, I did say his price will rise. I did not know his price will rise that much, okay? This Giannis was around fifteen to 20,000 MT prior, like right when he dropped, okay? That is way too cheap for a Giannis. And now look at him, man. He is... You look at this guy's price. He is at 82,000 MT, okay? I, in my opinion, I don't even know how in the world this happened. I don't even know. I honestly think he might have been price fixed or people were just hoping he went up. But the fact that he's up 60k MT is insane and if you guys did scoop up this card you are now an mt millionaire literally if you picked up 10 of these cards for 20k you made 60,000 mt profit clean after the reduction everything so 60,000 mt times 10 is 600k <laughs> that means if you spend 200k you now have 800,000 mt sitting there if you spend 400k you now have 1.2 million mt sitting there what the heck has happened I don't know, but I was just saying I would 110% try sniping out this card. He is super rare. Supposedly, he's super good even without the range extender. And supposedly, his strength is insane. He's probably low-key. I'm going to have to scoop him up myself, honestly. I, I want to run him at center. I do love Giannis. And honestly, I'm running Eddie Curry. And I'm running Manu Bull right now. I would honestly not mind Giannis there with AD, D-Wade, Paul Pierce, and Bird. That's a pretty solid squad. Just want to get that out. Another card that did go up a ton is Andre Kernelenko. Um, this card, the what is it? The power forward. Which one is he? He's a center. So this card rose about 30k. I got him for 60k on the stream not too long ago. He's up to almost 90,000. Uh, up to like 85k MT. So another thing, guys. If you invested in Kernelenko, you made so much MT. Now, does this mean the market is up? That's a snipe. I'll take that. So just made a quick. I didn't really make that much MT. I'm going to wait till it goes up to like 90-ish. Make about 5K MT after reduction. But uh, let's talk about this. So is the market inflated? Did it rise? Honestly, I feel like those cards were price fixed for the set. We're going to go over the cards in the set. So um, Bill Russell is down. So the only expensive one is KD. So you get Jonathan Isaac for around 500, uh, 1.5 mil MT. Now, Kernelenko, I I'm honestly... I'm just going to sit here shocked because I never thought that he would, Giannis would go up that much. It's insane. So now what you guys should be doing to make MT. First off, we're going to talk about the prime cards first. If you guys don't, like, honestly, I wouldn't sell these cards, man. They're still really cheap, in my opinion. I think they're going to rise a lot more, man. Um, you should see a little rise in them now. 
But I think this week we are going to get some Prime cards and whatnot. We're going to probably get the Prime set at the end of the week. So with that being said, I definitely see Kawhi Leonard going up a lot. I see him going up to 700k. So if you have any of these cards, I'm telling you right now, wait until they drop the last card. If the last card is insane, these cards are all going to rise, even if it's not insane. It, it really depends with the mystery player. The mystery player has got to be a GOAT or something crazy. If that happens, usually right. Let's say Prime content comes out at 11 o'clock, which it usually does, and you guys know it is. At around 10, 9, throw up your cards. When the next card comes out, the demand will be so high for all these cards. And you can make literally probably 100k extra per card. So that's why I'm holding on to them. I want to sell them so bad and get my MT up. But nah, it's not worth it. Hold on to these cards, man. Paul George was a mil at a point, 600k at a point. I think he has a chance of reaching about 600 600 700,000 MT. High key, one of the best small forward shooting guards in the game. Probably a top five shooting guard in the game. So yeah, definitely would recommend looking at that. So now, let's compare Shaq to Shaq. So I want to talk about guys over Shaq. He's down a lot. Does he rise? Is he going to rise? Probably not. Even though the Showtime Shaq is very similar. Um, he's very similar. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, he really can't shoot the best. He is, I think, a little bit slower. But I'm telling you, defensive-wise, supposedly he's a complete god. He has, I think, the same speed as the glitch. So pretty much the only thing that's different is the three-point shot. And he has, I mean, he actually is faster. 94 and 88. So he has faster speed with ball with his glitch shack. Now we're talking about a 300 to 400k difference between these cards. In my opinion, man, Showtime Shaq, I think his price might rise because then again, Rashad Lewis is price fixed. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is stupid expensive. Rashad Lewis at 1.7 mil, man. This set's worth about 2.3-ish mil. So right now, man, he's price fixed. Now, how are you going to make MT? Honestly, bro, now the new thing is investing in Opals. Like if you see Melo, I feel like Melo's a good price for 159 with a contract. Usually now on Friday, you could literally just invest in a ton of Opals and then make so much MT. And also, guys, another investment that was pretty solid. If you guys didn't know, Bobo was on boards. He was a solid investment. I think he's up a lot right now. Probably up about 20,000 MT. So let's check him out. I know he was a buyout yesterday around 90-ish K. He's still a buyout. I think he might slide back up. So if I were you, I would probably try to snipe out a Bobo with like diamond contract and stuff. Because you make a lot of MT off that. So search for the diamond contracts. Search for the ones with shoes. You could throw them over at a 100,000 bid. Even a fully evolved one could maybe go for like 150. So completely up to you. I threw up mine on the board. I threw up mine on the um, auction today. Hoping I could get some decent coin for it. I have unlimited contracts. My Weber has unlimited shoes on it. So we're going to see how it goes. But right now is probably a good time to sell your cards. Make a lot of MT off selling most of your squad. Giannis at like 280 whatever um jr smith is up a lot of cards are kind of up the market is obviously crashed but it did rise like this fully evolved jr is going for 410 he's going for 200 200 180 so jr smith is definitely going for a lot man the fully evolved one though is going for crazy amounts if you guys evolved him high key one of the best shooting guards in the game he becomes a 99 perimeter defense 99 three-point shot anyways 99 dunk so Definitely try to evolve him. He does become one of the best shooting guards in the game. And not only that, man, Tracy McGrady, one of the best cards in the game. Let's check out his price. He's up a little bit. All I'm saying, let's check out Curry as well. Curry might have been a good investment. Supposedly, he was on boards. Like I said, man, I've been grinding TTO. I didn't see any Opals on the boards. I don't know what the odds are, but they got to be low because there was no Opals on the board all yesterday. Steph Curry, man, Galaxy Opal buzzer beater card. With 39 Hall of Fame bad is going for around 90,000 MT. Is he worth the investment? Like I said, man, with Galaxy Opals, you kind of want to search for shoes and unlimited contracts. It really does break the difference of these cards. So 100K right here, okay? So 100K, the Chiefs one's 93K. Now, this one does have, I believe, a three-point shoe and a steal. So he has 99 steals, 68. His block goes up. This is a, honestly a good one to pick up with the limited contract and the shoes. I think his price does rise. I feel like he's pretty much off TTO boards right now, man. I, I don't see any cards. I've been grinding. I probably went through about three to five boards. And I haven't even seen one of these. I haven't seen anything at all. I haven't even seen one player. All I've been getting is like one token and 5K MT, 250 MT, two tokens. It's like 
Wow, man, they pretty much, this ad is pretty much false. But right now, man, probably should look at the Giannis. If you want to make MT, I really feel like out of position, Giannis has a very good chance of constantly going off for snipes. That is my opinion. I really do think it's a good idea. But honestly, guys, that's really all we got for the video. Just some tips, some MT talk and whatnot. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content because we obviously have some more content coming. But yes, second upload done. A one-hour stream done. And yes, I hope you guys enjoy. Drop the sub if you're new. Have a good one, guys. Peace.